Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and E3 is right around the corner. We do have about a week until the convention starts. So today I would like to let you guys know some information about the event and also my predictions on what we will see in regards to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So first off, the event will start on June 12th and it's going to last until the 14th, which is a Thursday. And uh, Activision has actually been sending out invites to Call of Duty fans via email. I'm going to have the little flyer on screen for you guys right here. So make Make sure you check your email in case you might have received one. Specifically, Black Ops 4 will probably take place during the Sony conference since Sony still has the rights to DLC content for another year. And the Sony conference may take place either on Monday or Tuesday depending on where you live. So I'm going to have a chart that tells you the times depending on the region where you live on screen for you guys right now. It does take place pretty late for everybody so maybe plan accordingly especially if you plan on making some videos or you know you want to produce content for the event or cover the event that kind of stuff so yeah now guys i'm gonna have the links to where you can watch the stream down below so maybe when the event starts you can come back to this video and uh, there will be a few links for you to click on but in terms of what we will see at e3 definitely it's going to be heavily multiplayer oriented because of course there's no campaign however i do think that Treyarch will release a series or a little video that possibly talks about the specialist past their history and maybe even how the war started i think we will possibly get a date on when the official beta will start for Black Ops 4. There has been some rumors that came out recently that said the beta will start sometime in August. I kind of feel they should move it up a month earlier since the actual game will release a month before the annual release month in November. But uh, we will see guys what happens. I've heard a bunch of dates uh, but more than likely I feel that it will start sometime in August. Next up I think we will definitely get some information and possibly some gameplay on Blackout the new battle royale mode for Black Ops 4. And speaking of that a pretty cool article came out which contain an interview with Dan Bunting and he talked about the blackout mode a bit more in depth and he says it's been a different and new challenge but as we've been working on it we've had a lot of ideas and cross pollinations between different parts of the game we've brought stuff to multiplayer that we have learned while making blackout and vice versa investment in the weapon system is important in black ops but especially in a survival mode like blackout that's played on a massive scale you have to think about how the weapons perform in a different way bullet drop and bullet travel times are things we've never had to consider in Call of Duty before. But in terms of the actual core combat loop, everything you love and know about the tight Black Ops gunplay and feel of movement is all just as relevant in Blackout as it is in the competitive multiplayer. So in Black Ops 4 guys, Treyarch will be stepping away from the random bullet deviation, kind of like how DICE is doing for Battlefield 5. And the reason why they decided to take this out is really really great because I feel the same exact way and he says when you introduce randomness that just leads to frustration when a gun has a recoil pattern that's completely random you feel like I missed that guy but why and that's frustrating because you can't really learn from that mistake to get better so we want all the systems in Black Ops 4 to be learnable so players can master them and we want the journey to mastery to feel rewarding now that is a very very good answer bullet drop and bullet travel time is something that's never been in a Call of Duty game before like that's huge and by adding that it also adds Adds to the realism of the game and like Dan said when you introduce randomness that leads to frustration in players if you guys want to read the entire article a bit more I'm gonna have it down below in the description for you guys he does talk a bit more about the specialist and pretty much how the standard roles in Call of Duty will change because for years there's always been a slayer and an objective player a support role but now with the specialist it's gonna open up a lot more ways a player can customize their playstyle, which sounds super super amazing guys again the link for the article is going to be down below definitely go read it and check it out again i feel that blackout will be showcased at e3 for the first time ever and you do not want to miss out on the event guys tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you later